Installing a Lenovo Neptune Processor Direct Water Cooling Module This video shows the Lenovo Neptune Processor DWC Module Replacement Procedures on the SR650 V3. As the SR630 V3 uses the same module, the replacement procedures are identical. Important. This task must only be carried out by trained technicians who are certified by Lenovo Service. Do not attempt to remove or install a direct water cooling module without proper training and or the correct qualification. To install the hose holder on the chassis, remove the screws that secure the firmware and ROT security module. Align the screw holes on the hose holder with the screw holes on the firmware and ROT security module and the guiding pins on the holder with the holes on the rear wall. Fasten the screws to secure the hose holder to the system I.O. board. Install the CPU onto a carrier. Note, do not touch the surface on the bottom of the CPU. Make sure the handle on the carrier is in the closed position. Align the triangular marks on the CPU with those on the carrier and then insert the marked end of the CPU into the carrier. Hold the inserted end of the CPU in place and then push the unmarked end of the carrier down and away from the CPU. Press the CPU and secure the sides under the clips on the carrier. To install the processor on the DWCM, note, new DWCMs are shipped with a module handle. Remove the CPU heatsink thermal grease protection cover from the new DWCM Align the triangular mark on the cold plate assembly label with the triangular mark on the processor carrier and processor. Install the DWCM onto the processor carrier. Press the carrier into place until the clips at all four corners engage. Install the processor DWCM on the system board assembly. Align the triangular mark and four Torx T30 nuts on the cold plate assembly with the triangular mark and the threaded posts on the processor socket and then insert the cold plate assembly into the processor socket. Note: A module handle is not needed when replacing a processor without changing the DWCM. Push the anti-tilt wire bales outward until they engage with the hooks in the socket. Fully fasten the Torx T30 nuts in the installation sequence shown on the cold plate assembly. For reference, the torque required to fully tighten the fasteners is 0.9 to 1.3 newton meters, 8 to 12 inch pounds. Remove the module handle from the DWCM. Turn the screws as illustrated to unlock the handle. Separate the handle from the DWCM. Install the cold plate covers and press the cover down as shown. Place the middle part of the hose against the blue latch and then insert the outlet and inlet hoses into the holder. The hoses have guiding labels attached, so check for the labels before installation. The labels help you put the hoses in the right place so align the labels with the holder latches. Otherwise, the hoses might obstruct open connectors on the system board assembly. Insert the leakage detection sensor module into the holder beside the hoses.
make sure that the side with the status LED is facing up and route the cable as illustrated. Connect the DWCM leakage detection sensor module cable to the connector on the system board assembly. Install the riser cage. Align the riser cage with the riser slot on the system board assembly. Carefully press the riser cage straight into the slot until it is securely seated. Fasten the screw to secure the riser cage. Install the top cover. Install the server into the rack and then install the quick connect plugs on the manifolds. 